Hey, what's up guys? This is CG with Politics Mob and this is Mob Monday. If you're new here, Mob Monday is where I go over stories from the previous week that I either thought were very important or did not get enough coverage. So stay tuned if you want to get caught up with the updates in the case of the Boston bomber from 2013 and Donald Trump saying that mail-in voting causes fraud. Let's go. Ask what you can do for your country. And always will be the United States of America. We're going to build the wall. Tear down this wall. All right, first up. First of all, this asshole, who is responsible for the Boston bombing in 2013 that killed three people, left 17 people without limbs, and injured a couple hundred more, just got a piece of good news. A U.S. appeals court has overturned the death sentence of Boston Marathon bomber Zohar Tsarnaev, but the ruling clearly states that Tsarnaev will not be released from prison. Okay, so his lawyers argued in the First District Federal Court of Appeals that his original murder trial should have never been held in Boston. They asserted that because the bombings took place in Boston, that no Massachusetts jury could have ever been impartial and objective. Obviously, the Federal Court of Appeals agreed, and so his death sentence was commuted. Now, we need to note here that they did not overturn the murder convictions, just the death sentence. So he's not getting out of jail anytime soon. And we should also note here that Donald Trump has publicly said that there should be a do-over for the trial. Speaking of Donald Trump, the president has continued to argue that mail-in voting causes fraud, even though all the evidence suggests that it doesn't. But, you know Mr. Trump, so it did not stop him from tweeting this out. With universal mail-in voting, not absentee voting, which is good, 2020 will be the most inaccurate and fraudulent election in history. It will be a great embarrassment to the USA. Delay the election until people can properly, securely, and safely vote. <laughs> okay, first of all, delay the election? Absolutely not. Second of all, he doesn't have the power to do that. Third of all, what is this stupid-ass opinion based on? There is no evidence that even suggests that mail-in voting causes fraud, but he's been saying this for so long. And I don't know if you caught the other part there. He was very clear to make a distinction between regular mail-in ballots and absentee ballots, even though absentee ballots are by definition mail-in ballots. Why is he okay with absentee ballots? Because the vast majority of absentee ballots are from military personnel. And by and large, military personnel vote right more than they vote left. So, he obviously wants to make sure those absentee ballots, even though they're mail-in as well, are counted. But, screw everybody else. Absentee ballots are great, because absentee ballots, you have to go through a process to get them, and it's, it's actually a great thing. Absentee ballots, I'm gonna be voting absentee. An absentee ballot is one thing. A universal mail-in ballot is a disaster. The willingness of the president and others to jump to these voting by mail is going to cause fraud conspiracy theories is honestly a little bit alarming. There's nothing to support this point of view. First of all, nobody's calling for universal mail-in ballots nationwide. There's only five states that currently have universal mail-in ballots to begin with. And all that means is, if you are a registered voter in that state, you are automatically sent a mail-in ballot that you can use if you want to, whether or not you ask for it or not. That's what a universal mail-in ballot is. It doesn't mean everyone in the state votes by mail. It means that everyone in the state has the opportunity to vote by mail. Here's the truth. There's only five states that have universal mail-in ballots at the moment. Those states are Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Washington, and Utah. Utah is a red state. Okay, so what about the no-excuse mail-in ballot states? Those are the states where you do not have to provide an excuse to request a voting by mail ballot. That list is actually very long and includes a bunch of red states. Georgia, Idaho, Arizona, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Wyoming are just a number of the red states, deep red states, that have no excuse mail-in ballots. That means any registered voter can request a mail-in ballot. But you won't hear the president say that. You'll only hear him talk about California, where I live, which also has no excuse mail-in ballot. And I personally vote by mail every single election. There's nothing wrong with voting by mail, and it does not cause fraud. And a lot of red states already do this. 
Mr. President, a lot of people that voted for you in 2016 did so by mail, so stop. If you're interested in finding out more about where your state stands on voting by mail, I've left a link to a really informative article by The Hill that goes over all 50 states and DC and how their voting by mail policy affects elections, so I recommend you check that out. All right, that's all I've got for this week. As always, please like, comment, and share. It really helps the channel grow. I'm trying to turn Politics Mob into something. I want to see where it can go. So if you like the content, I really appreciate the support on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. If you find something to be informative or you know someone else that would, please let them know about me. I'm putting out Mob Monday videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next video.